All right, so there's been a few videos that have been highly requested pertaining to my Genesis, uh, probably because that's how you found the channel, but uh, two of which already live on the channel, which are the mod list, everything done in my car in terms of modifications, and the second being the overall ownership experience that I've had with the Genesis, uh, because I've had it for four and a half years and have put over 100,000 miles on it. Both videos did very well, um, so I should probably listen to you guys more often, but ever since that modification list video went live, I get the same question almost every single day one how much did you pay for your modifications and two where did you get those modifications so I'm gonna answer that for you in this video but before I get into any of that I just want to put a disclaimer out there I'm not sponsored by any one of these companies none of these companies sent me parts or paid me I'm not affiliated with any of these companies I bought all these parts with my own money before we get into that we got to wash the car because we're going to a car meet later So it's been a few hours, car's clean, I'm clean. Uh, we're actually gonna have to go pick up Tim. So while we're on the way there, I guess we'll talk. All right, so let's get into it. How much money did I spend to modify my Genesis? So as soon as I got the car, I took it to a shop called Umbra to get the tints. I did all the windows on the doors as well as the back glass. I got their top tier tint at the time, I can't remember the brand, uh, but it's a ceramic tint and that was $400. Money well spent because they look exactly like they did when he first installed them, so quite happy with that. Next we'll go through the small little aesthetic things that I did to the exterior. Um, the badge on the back, the Hyundai badge, I swapped out for a newer Genesis badge. Uh, the wing badge, I got that on Amazon and that was 15 bucks. Next, I blacked out the chrome uh, moldings on the front and rear bumpers. That was a roll of 3M vinyl and that was a $30 roll that I got on Amazon. Next, I got a Magnaflow catback exhaust. Um, I didn't buy this new. Uh, they're quite expensive new. I think it's something like 11 or 1200 bucks. I got it used from a guy in Florida. Uh, little pro tip, if you're gonna buy used items, find them in Florida because they have no rust. Um, I got this thing and it was so clean. I can't remember exactly how long the guy had it on his particular car, but it was super clean, no rust, and I paid 650 bucks shipped for that. So I had that on the car for a little bit. Um, I didn't really like the way it sounded. It was just too conservative. So I bought electronic valves from DMH. Uh, they're quite difficult to acquire. I found them on a website called 1320wheels.com and they also took quite a long time because they're just kind of the middleman for DMH uh, but the guy that I dealt with was awesome so if you're looking for DMH cutouts get them through uh, 1320wheels.com so I got the whole kit two and a half inch uh, cutouts with the Y pipes painted Y pipes wiring harness all the hardware even came with block off plates um, and that was 360 bucks so all the mods I kind of do myself uh, but I'm not a welder so I took in the valves to a shop to get welded in when I was there I actually got my secondary cats deleted I got 
the cutouts welded in and the whole thing wired up. So all together that labor was 350 bucks. So next we'll talk about the Brembo's. This is probably the most uh, requested thing that I've revealed the price for whatever reason. I got them on eBay off of a total Genesis coupe. Uh, the coupe had like 15,000 miles on them. When I got these uh, calipers they were like brand spanking new. There's like no chips in the paint. Um, even came with brake hoses that weren't kinked or cut or anything like that. I was pretty patient trying to find a good set and I was able to snipe the Brembo calipers for 450 bucks. Um, now I did do a quick search on eBay as of late and the prices have kind of inflated uh, probably because some asshole showed you how to do it on YouTube but I was patient and I was able to snipe them for 450 bucks. The rotors I got on autoanything.com um, it was the cheapest place that I could find stop tech slider rotors and I paid $495 for those. The pads are also a stop tech sport pad or a street pad or something like that. Um, not quite a track pad but uh, it's still a, a pretty aggressive pad. It, it creates a lot of dust. I was able to find a seller on eBay and I paid $155 for those. All right, coils. So coils I got kind of lucky on. As soon as I was looking for coils, I found a guy local to me on Facebook Marketplace. Um, he had like a show car Genesis, barely had any miles on his coilovers. He was selling them. There was like no rust or anything on them. They were like brand spanking new. Jesus. But I was able to snag those up for $750. All right, wheels. So wheels I found on eBay. Um, I waited a really long time for these wheels, the G80 Sport wheels. Probably like a good year and a half before a decent set came uh, and popped up on eBay. But I was able to get a used set uh, with minor, minor blemishes on them for $1,100 shift. So I got quite a steal on those as well. The tire that I wrapped them in are a Firestone tire. It's an Indy 500. Uh, great tire, great value tire. The missus hooked me up for my birthday and those were $815. Now along with the wheels, kinda pissed that I forgot to mention this in the wheel reveal video, but G80 Sport wheels require a flat washer style lug nut. So my stock R-Spec wheel lug nut is a cone style and they didn't work. So I had to get flat style washers. I, I just went with OEM just to keep everything uh, OEM quality. And those were $140 for lug nuts. So keep that in mind if you're trying to get G80 Sport wheels. And the grand total is... What are you moving around for? I need your help. Pull out your calculator. Why? Just pull out your calculator, dude. Do I look like a goddamn nerd? I, I can't even see you right now. What's up? So I need you to to add these up. Ready? What? Four hundred dollars plus thirty plus fifteen plus six fifty plus three sixty plus three fifty plus four fifty plus four ninety five plus one fifty five plus seven fifty. Wait, wait, one fifty five? Yeah. Plus 750, plus 1100, plus 815, uh -huh. plus 140. What's the grand total? 6,710. That's how much it costs to mod my car. Wait, what? So there you go. That's how much it costs to mod a Genesis. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> Off to the meat. What's up, homie? To this me here. Alright, uh, you're gonna go follow the guy in the green up there. Thank you. Hey, Kyle. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Hey, how are you? Good. 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 Good.
Holy shit, my ear hurts a little bit. There you go. Uh, pretty sure Tim added all the numbers wrong, but uh, I think it was like a grand off or something. I would have fixed that anyway. You guys know the uh, full total. But uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, drop them down below. I answer every single one. Um, and uh, I'll link all the videos that I've done pertaining to the mods um, in the description so you can refer to those if you need help uh, technically with information or stuff like that. Um, I've done a lot, so I'll put them down in the description so you can refer to those. And yeah, you know, we often talk as a community. Uh, there's not much aftermarket, but I still managed to spend $5,000. Was it worth it for a depreciating asset? No. But uh, was it worth it to me? Yeah. Um, considering I've had the car for over half <laughs> um, I got a lot of, why isn't this light working? Excuse me. Well, there we go. So.